Hi, this is Vasil from Atom Tuition. Today we are going to discuss how to find the area of combinations of plane figures. Okay, so I have taken few problems to explain how to do such problems. Here, the first one is find the area of the shaded region where a circular arc of radius six centimeter has been drawn with the vertex O here of an equilateral triangle. They have said that the triangle is equilateral and the side of the triangle is also given as 12 cm. So there, we have few informations here. Let me uh, write them. You have radius of a circle. Okay. R is given as 6 cm. With this I am going to find the area of the circle. Okay. So area of because that is shaded. Area of circle will be pi r squared right this is pi r squared so that is 22 over 7 and your r is 6 times 6 so i have got it as 113.14 i have just taken it to two decimal places and since it is centimeter and it is area i write square centimeters. Now I have found out this area of the circle. Let me find out the area of the equilateral triangle also. So this is going to be you have a particular form, formula for this for three, root 3 by 4 a square right where the a is given as 12 centimeters. This would be like square root of 3 over 4 and the a is 12 right. So 12 times 12 now this will go thrice, right? So 36 uh, times root 3. So that is 62.35. This is centimeter square, centimeter or centimeter square. So if I just, just imagine if I add the circle and the equilateral triangle, area of the circle and equilateral triangle, what happens is, here you find you have a sector. If I complete the circle, you have this portion, the sector, right? This sector would be added twice, right? Once it is with the circle, and the sector is again is with the equilateral triangle. So what we need to do is we have to subtract this once so that it is not uh, added twice in the area. Okay. So for that, what I do is I would find out the area of the sector. So for this you know the angle because they say it is equilateral triangle. So this angle should be 60 degree right. Because for an equilateral triangle all the vertices are 60 degree each. So that angle is 60 degree. So the sector this sector would be like maybe if I say CD okay. So this is the sector COD. The formula is theta over 360 times pi r square right so that will be equal to pi here is 60 60 over 360 times 22 over 7 times r square and you know that the r is 6 centimeters it's given in the picture so that's 6 times 6 okay so that will be equal to 18 point 86 square centimeters again so now i can say area of shaded portion is equal to you don't have any rigid formula here so you just have to look at the diagram given and do okay so that would be area of circle add area of triangle equilateral triangle take away the area of the sector right so that would be like 113.14 plus 62.35 take away 18.86 so that will give you 156.63 square centimeters is that clear now let's move on to the second question here they say from each corner of a square of side 4 cm, a quadrant of a circle of radius 1 cm is cut 
and also the circle of diameter 2 cm is cut as shown in the figure. You are asked to find the area of the remaining portion. So the shaded portion that means right. So they say the side is equal to 4 cm. Okay. Since it is a square all the sides are 4 cm each. Now they say they cut a quadrant. So here it is 90 degree. Okay. And uh, this portion, the radius, this radius is 1 cm. Okay. So everywhere, this is also 1 cm. And this is 90 degree. So here they say that the diameter is 2 cm. So to find the area of the shaded portion, it's not any definite fig uh, figure so that you have a direct formula to find out. What we have to do is, you first find out the area of the square. From that, you have to take away these quadrants, these four quadrants, okay? So, the four quadrants would make one full circle, okay? So, the, these four quadrants will make one full circle because it is all, all are similar, all one centimeter each, right? And the vertices are 90 degree. And also, you have to take away from the square, you have to take away these four quadrants and also the uh, circle in, in, inside okay here the diameter is given 2 cm so the radius is again 1, one cm okay now so for to start with I will find the area of square this is equal to side times side right so that is equal to 4 times 4 so the whole square is 16 cm I am going to find the area of four quadrants. So I will find the area of one quadrant and times it with four. So four times area of one quadrant, it's a sector, right? Sector is 90 over 360 pi r squared. R here is 1, okay? So that's I'll put 1 and then 1 times 1, okay? So what happens this will go here 4 times and this 4 and 4 gets cancelled and you get the answer as pi centimeter squared. Okay. Now you need to find the area of the circle right. So the third one is area of circle. There too the diameter is 2 so the radius is 1 right. So that's pi r square because that's full full uh, figure so here diameter divided by 2 you can do okay yeah so this will again give you a pi okay pi centimeters square now to find the area of the shaded portion area of square minus area of four quadrants area of the circle right so here you have found out all this this is 16, take away quadrant is pi, take away pi is equal to 16 minus 2 pi, 9.7, okay, I have just rounded up to one decimal place, centimeter square, okay. Now, that was easy actually, now you have another picture here. The figure depicts a racing track whose left and right ends are semicircle, okay, circular. The distance between the two inner planes, so that means here, okay, is 60, okay, 60 meters. And this portion is 10 meters wide. You can see that the width is 10 centimeters wide. Let me draw like this. This side also, if I draw the same line, you can find the two rectangles here, right? Say for instance, if I name it like A, B, C and D. And this one I name it as P, Q, R, S. Okay. This length is also given. This length is from here to here. Okay. It is 106. And now let us go to the calculation. You need to first, you need to find the distance around the track. Okay. So that means it's the perimeter like, right? Let's find the distance around the track 
along its inner edge okay so you just need to find the this, this value alone okay distance around the inner edge okay so you would have see this 106 and here you have 106 right 106 times 2 plus this uh, arc and this arc will make it a full circle right so the perimeter you just need the outside border right so that i will write it as 2 pi r here your r is since the distance between here to here is 60 so this will be 30 so that will be uh, 2 pi 30 square okay fine so this will give you 212 plus 2 times 22 over 7 times oh it's just 2 pi r okay no square here so that's this so this will give you the answer as 212 plus 188.6 okay so that would be 400.6 meters the distance they have asked you the distance you have done that okay now they are asking you to find the area of the track so what you need to do is you don't have a formula for area of the track what I do is you find the area of the inner figure and you take away that from the area of the outer figure you get the area of the track okay is equal to see what I do is area of PQRS area of just look at the picture that's the outside uh, rectangle right PQRS take away area of inner rectangle that is a b c d okay so okay then we get these this area okay this area you get okay now to this you have to add this side or both the side you have the semicircles right those also you have to add for that what i do is area of outer semicircle take away area of inner semicircle okay this will be equal to area of pqrs is 106 times 80 take away 106 times 60 so with this we have to add the area of the semicircles right see i am not doing the semicircle okay if i am taking the semicircle i will have to multiply by 2 okay or you can directly take the circles semi to both the side you have the semicircles right so i just take uh, the area for formula okay so this times 30 because you know radius is 30 and 40 there right okay so this would be like 8480 minus when you multiply these two you get 6360 plus this would be like you can take the pi out right so 22 over 7 I take out and this is 40 square that is this is 900 okay so that would give you 2120 here plus 22 over 7 times 700 right so it's a hundred so when you add up solve it you get four three two zero square meters or meter square 